Hey everyone, Depressed Dior here with more uh, Kingdom Death Monster 1.5. Uh, so quickly, uh, apologies for uh, the mistakes I made in the previous hunt. Um, I I caught one of them, but I, there was no real easy way to fix it. And to be honest, the um, so the issue in the previous hunt was I uh, had only 12 uh, AI cards instead of 15. I was missing three advance cards. I just I guess I got distracted handling other things and just forgot to go back to it. Um, and uh, honestly, it just meant less opportunities for me to get crits and get more materials. Uh, overall, I wasn't really in any real danger, so I was I just left it as is. Uh, a, a, uh, um, I did get a comment mentioning I made another mistake, though, uh, which was here. Um, on grazing fields, I actually did not roll the random hunt event for this. Um, so I actually went on, a, a, when I saw that comment, I went ahead and just opened a random number gen generator on Google and uh, did a D100 on that and got 34. Uh, 34 is Crippling Misery, which is each survivor rolls with 1D10. The lowest survivor, scoring survivor or survivors in case of ties becomes the straggler. If any survivor or survivors has the anxiety disorder, they are the straggler. Do not roll. The straggler is lost in a moment of profound self-doubt. They slip, not having the will to catch themselves and tumble off a steep hill of stone faces. They land awkwardly with a crunch, suffering the broken leg severe injury, sobbing to themselves. They come to grips with just how terrible the life is and gain plus one understanding. And then there's some stuff about binge eating disorder, which we don't have. Uh, we actually had two people who had anxiety. Uh, we have Ringo and we had uh, Hitate. So both of them had um, would have been the straggler and I wouldn't have had to roll. Um, I also went through the footage and they had their acanthus plant the entire time, their dried acanthus. Uh, so that would have soaked the severe injury. So I'm just going to delete the two dried acanthus I had uh, remaining. And uh, that'll take care of that. They also get plus one understanding, uh, which really only applies to Ringo. Hitate has full understanding already. So uh, Ringo will get plus one understanding. And that resolves that. Thankfully, that was a really easy hunt to fix. Um, so now we get to prepare for uh, the wonder that is the Kingsmen. Uh, we do not have any uh, hunt track or anything like that, so we at least won't mess up that. Um, this, uh, this fight's going to be... Uh, it's either we're going to blitz this thing down, or it's going to be a very, very painful slog and possibly death. So, uh, I do have uh, Kingsman open on my, uh, on my physical book in front of me. So we're just going to go ahead and go through all that. So, four spaces above. So it has stone pillars all around. Uh, this, for those who don't remember, the previous settlement event is the um, was nicknamed, so we don't need to worry about anything from that anymore. Um, the uh, other thing, uh, I guess one thing to point out, uh, if you guys do point out any mistakes, um, the way I have these recorded, um, bare minimum, I do two, I do two videos, um, I, which is in the order of do a hunt and then do a settlement phase. Um, so I end every, every session on a, on, uh, on a, on a, um, settlement video, because it's generally a lot easier to keep track of things, uh, coming out of a settlement uh, phase than coming into one. Um, so if I do get, if you guys do notice anything that's wrong on the hunt phase or hunt and showdown phase, I will not be able to, uh, respond to it until the, the start of the next hunt or showdown phase. So just something, just FYI, um, as always, thank you guys for all the comments and feedback and all that stuff. Um, like I mentioned many times before, uh, there's just a lot of stuff to keep track of and I'm just kind of going through the motions and it's, it's, I'm better off not stressing about it. So I'm definitely not going to stress about it. All right, um, so that's all of that. Oh, as far as our gear, I think we've already kind of covered it. Um, we have um, Shikiaki here with full leather, Butcher Cleaver. Um, she has 16 Insanity, so she'll definitely be insane to use the Butcher Cleaver. Um, Rhythm Chaser will definitely trigger, which will be nice. Um, Orator of Death is just to kind of provide some additional backup. Um, the, the key thing here is going to be uh, Sugume and Yuka, who both have King Step. Also, Sugume is cursed, um, so I'm hoping to get the killing blow with her and going from there. Um, it'll be kind of hard because she has she is equipped with heavy gear, which there are hard counters to heavy gear uh, with this particular one. Um, and we do have Rhythm Chaser for Ringo down here, and Ringo has super high evasion, so I'm hoping to take advantage of that. Um, Yuka is gonna, not going to have as much strength as usual as I went with Round Shield. Um, it's all about being able to counteract the... Um, the uh, the nasty um, trap card, which will essentially 
wreck you if you don't have a shield. So, with all that said and done, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and close this for one thing. I don't need it anymore. All right. Uh, anything else of note? I don't think so. I'm gonna go ahead and shut. Uh, we're gonna pull out the pillars, and then we'll shuffle. And then uh, we also need to deal with the Kingsman. So let's go ahead and do that now. There's Kingsman. Uh, so first things first, take out the top three cards, which are my battle pressures, and we'll put those on top once we're done shuffling. Okay, it is now shuffled. And we can put these on top. Okay, all taken care of there. Uh, next, we need to get the Kingsman himself. So we'll grab him. So level two. Uh, 11 basic, 4 advanced, 1 uh, legendary. So this will be our first encounter with legendary, which it only has one legendary card. So there's that. Fairly certain. Yeah, that's legendary. All right. Um, and then 4 advanced. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 11 basic, which is pretty much all of them except for 2. But I'm still going to draw them out, because I always do. Alright, and then put that here, and shuffle. That puts that good to go. Um, there are some cards I do need to get set up, but I'll go ahead and do that on screen. Uh, there should be 16 cards in here. There are. So, okay, we got that correct. Uh, movement 6, speed plus 1, damage plus 1. Uh, 15 toughness does still have weak spot, so 11 toughness whenever attacked in the weak spot. Uh, Outfighting, King's Aura, all the, still the same. Uh, battle tempo is still the same, and then there's King Combat. Um, but the new one is Silent Hymn, so we'll be dealing with that. So first, first thing to note, we want to get uh, King's Combat. just to keep track of. So at the start of each monster turn, perform basic action, then draw an AI card. Silent him. We kind of went over this last time, so we were not gonna, I won't do it again, but essentially we're gonna get a bunch of nasty things. All right, so strange him. Yeah, so it's at the start of the survivor's turn. So even at, even though we're going first, we're still going to suffer the minus one movement, which is going to suck. Um, so yeah, we get to, get to look forward to that. All right, um, with that said and done, uh, I don't think the other ones I need to worry about. But I'll check real quick. Uh, Kingsman, AI card, special. So battle tempo, this is on our survivors. Well, I, I'm not going to worry about it because I don't plan on doing the king step of it because I don't need it. There's King's Aura, which is every time it gets reshuffled, uh, or at the, sorry, yeah, at the start of the monster turn, and each time they hit uh, the deck is shuffled, put the three battle pressures on top. Um, Outfighting just means he attacks from two range. And then, of course, weak spot. If we're in the blind spot, it's minus four toughness. So pretty standard stuff there. All right. So with all that said and done, let's go ahead and draw our one terrain card. I believe it's just one. Nope, I get two. Okay, cool. Two. Uh, stone columns and canthus plants. And then I get an additional canthus plant because of the um, screaming bracers. Or one of those two. So I'll grab another one. So we'll have a bunch of canthus plants out, but I don't really have time to search through them. So we'll be dealing with that. All right, so set up four spaces away from uh, four spaces away from all of the terrain. Neat. Well, easy enough to do. We'll just do this and that, and I don't know, put one over here. All right, and then I'm just gonna scatter some plants around. Honestly, I do not care about these plants. Well, I'll take that back. I might care a little. We'll do something like that. Has to be, what, six spaces away? Yeah, six spaces away. So put one up there. Other, everything else should be fine. All right, so that's all been said and done. Let's go ahead and dive into uh, points. Uh, so it 
it is plus two. Okay. So our departing survival is what? Six? Four. Okay. So that might hurt us a little. So four. Um, the bracer, uh, the, um, the bracers are given additional two for uh, Shikiaki, so she gets a total of six. So one of the few times we don't max out on these. Um, Sugume. Oh, on arrival, all survivors gain plus three survival from the first aid kit. So that'll actually max her out. So bring her up to eight. And then Sugume is going to get four plus three, I think. That's it. So that brings her up to eight as well. Uh, Ringo will get, uh, oh, also Shikiaki will get plus two insanity because of the uh, leather mask. And then over here, we're going to get three insanity on Ringo. And this happens, oh, unfortunately, this will not trigger Kazotic because that only happens on departure and not arrival. So no Kazotic for her. Um, anything else of note? Oh, she gets plus two survival on top of the four she gets. So yeah, she's going to max out at eight, no matter what. And then Yuka is also going to max out at eight. Actually, why does she have so many Drydacanthus? She should not have that many. Hmm. In that case, I can give someone else a Drydacanthus. Yep, we'll do it this way. I didn't even realize there was a Stratocanthus up there. All right, so that fixes that. I had I had to fix that because you can't have two of the same item in your gear grid. Uh, the only thing you can have duplicates of are weapons. Um, all right, so that takes care of that. Uh, Yuka is going to max out at eight as well. From armor set and all that. I've already said everyone's armor uh, is essentially plus one because of the shrine, and then plus usually one or two, depending on the armor set, uh, with the exception of Sugume. And Sugume is going to get an additional two because of Beacon Shield, and Yuka gets an additional one because of the round leather shield. So there's our armor, fours, six, five, sixes and fives, eights and sevens, and fives. All right, so all that said and done, I think we're ready to go. Um, this is going to get ugly, real ugly, real fast. Um, Go ahead and shuffle this. Uh, priority target is going to be on Ringo. So she'll start things off, probably. All right. Uh, with all that said and done, let's go ahead and I think I I think that's it. I think all we can do is get started now. So I already shuffled. The uh, top three cards are the uh, battle pressures. Um, so all I can really do at this point is break that battle pressure first. So we're going to do that uh, with uh, Sugume. Sugume is going to get a minus one movement at the start of her turn. So now sure her movement is four. Uh, she does have six range, I believe, with her bow. So she can definitely get to where she needs to be. Um, she will... She's going to go ahead and open with a dash and surge first before she even moves. So dash and surge. Go one, two. That should put her in range. It does. All right, so I'm going to start off by uh, the surge will be firing the arrow. So we'll go ahead and note that we're using that. And uh, the, boat, the arrow is speed one, uh, accuracy six. Sugume so has plus two accuracy, so this will bring it down to uh, a four. So I just need to roll 1d10 and get a four plus. Of course, I never hit with the claw head arrow, ever. Um, so like I said, I opened with a dash and surge. So I still have my standard move and act for my, for my action. So I'm going to go ahead and use both to, sh to go ahead and fire the bow. Um, I hit on fives, 2d10. I don't think I have any plus speed on her. I do not. So I hit on fives. Claw hair unfortunately missed. 
Uh, two hits, one perfect. I don't think I have anything additional for her. Oh, also, I completely forgot I need to do Rhythm Chaser stuff, so let's do that real quick. Ringo, uh, plus one evasion. Uh, Shikiaki, plus one evasion. Everyone else should be fine. Uh, yep, looks like everyone else is going to be fine. All right, so top three cards, or top two cards. Uh, I have King Step. So that means I can discard Battle Pressures and draw another one. So I'm going to discard both Battle Pressures. I'm just going to discard the Battle Pressures like so, and then draw and get to the next two cards. Trap card. All right, well, there's no one within two spaces, so it's not going to do anything. And then this all gets reshuffled. I shuffled it a bunch of times, unfortunately, so hopefully that doesn't jack it up too much. All right, so that was our opening. Uh, not a good start. Uh, Yuka will go ahead and burn a, uh, a survival to dash. Uh, she keeps our point, and we do get the minus one movement. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And she'll attack. All right. So... Yuka has no speed, I'm pretty sure. Yep, no speed. All right. And then, yep, 2d10. Uh, 2D uh, for her, it hits on fours. Uh, two hits. Again, king step. Or, um, yeah, king step. I counteract the, the battle pressures. Regal Collar and Helbert Handle. Um, all right, so I get to roll and then decide the location. Oh, wait, um, are you? I, f I forgot. Um, I am so Sword Mastered. So Sword Mastery gives plus one accuracy, plus one strength, and plus one speed. So I will go ahead and roll one more attack. Hits. Okay. Thankfully, it didn't uh, hit any additional traps or anything. All right. So, uh, again, now I now I roll and decide what location it goes to. So she has a uh, three strength base, and then five strength, which brings it up to eight, and then nine because of mastery. So one d ten plus nine. Okay, that is a crit because of deadly. Uh, so I get to pick the location. So I'm going to pick the Helbert handle. So it gives us a, a minus one accuracy token. And that's the top card. All right, first wound. And he is now minus one attack. Or minus one accuracy, rather. So that's good. Um, now I have to pick locations. Um, so I'm going to pick Regal Collar next. Uh, that's a failed wound, unfortunately. He has 15 toughness in this position. And then the last location... Uh, 14, which is unfortunately a fail as well. I don't think I have any other things that I can adjust. If I had taken the, um, bo the, the bone collar, I would have at least had, to, this would have actually turned into a wound. That's okay. Um, so two spaces directly away from the attacker, turn to face the attacker. Uh, if the attacker has king step, they may follow the king's and move, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to follow. So, it's going to turn this way and go boop, boop. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and um, Shikiaki will go ahead and activate the Cat Eye Circlet so I can take a look at the top three cards and see what they are. Ah, well, there's the ones that counteract heavy here. Um, this one is Critical Wound. The Kingsman gains a plus, uh, minus one speed token. We definitely want that one. This one we don't want to uh, crit. And that is it. So I'm going to put this on the bottom, put this on the uh, next, and then put this on top. And then I'm going to search. Well, Shikiaki will get her minus movement, as usual. And then I'm going to uh, surge with her and throw a founding stone. For obvious reasons. So throw a founding stone. Top card. Oh, look, it's this. Um, if you crit this, it is a... Uh, the finally worked axe is damaged. 
the King's Ben gains a minus one speed token, so he'll take the wound. Uh, he will get the discarded battle pressures back on top of the deck, which is fine. Okay. Um, but he also gets a minus one speed token, so that'll counteract the speed that he got from his uh, being level two. So, minus one speed. All right, so we've done two out of 16, <laughs> 16 so far. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and have her move. doesn't really matter where. One, two, three, four. That's fine. And then it goes to um, Ringo, who unfortunately wouldn't be able to do much. You can get... Uh, or minus one movement going. And we'll go one, two, three, four, all the way over there. So I'm mainly going over here because of um, she is priority target at the moment. So I'm hoping to take a little bit of advantage of that. I mean, my other option is just to uh, hope the accuracy saves her, which in her case, Ringo has Two evasion, two for monster grease, so that brings up to four, and then five because of um, the token. So she she's pretty, she's actually in pretty good shape. So you know what? One, two, three, four. Well, let me think. This thing has six movement now, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll, we'll work with that. So she'll go this way. One, two, three, four. Um, she will search the Acanthus plant just because. Uh, she gets 1d10 1D plus 2 because she is does have the bracers. Might as well make use of it. Uh, yeah, plus 2. So 1d10 plus 2 uh, gets 10, which of course is a uh, fresh Acanthus. We'll add that to our inventory. All right, this plant goes bye bye, and that's unfortunately it for us. Um, the uh, battle pressures are already on top, so we're good on that front. We've done two wounds so far, not not a lot. Um, so it op it's going to open with King's Combat first. So that's this. So I, it goes after. It doesn't really matter. We have. Um, priority target. So it's going to go after um, Ringo. So it's going to full move towards target, then make a separate attack against all the people in this highlighted zone. So one, two, oh, also monster controller is going to shift down to, uh, actually I usually leave it in place on the first round, so no worries there. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is just out of range, I think. Yeah, it's five, it's a uh, six wide. So it would be uh, like this, essentially. So just out of range. All right, then it draws an AI card. Hook and pull. Furthest threat in field of view in range. No target guard. Uh, for those who don't remember, the guard is uh, gets plus five toughness until the start of next turn. So it just defends, essentially. So furthest target is probably still Ringo, conveniently enough. It is. Uh, we'll go ahead and remove the priority target. That's been expended. And we will go with this nonsense. So, uh, further threat field of view, move and attack target. Three speed. Well, in this case, yeah, it'll still be three speed because plus one speed, then minus one speed. And a bunch of accuracy things. All right. So, one, two, three, four. Like this. It does have out combat, so it'll stay one space away. Uh, she got trampled, so she'll, she'll be knocked down. All right, which unfortunately is going to use up her, ring, uh, her uh, rhythm chaser, which it is what it is. Um, so Shikiaki, bye bye rhythm chaser. All right. All right, so it goes to um, the attack. So three attacks, accuracy three. He has minus one accuracy, so he's at accuracy four. 
um, five, six because of monster increase, seven, eight because of her evasion, and then nine because of the token. So hits on nines on Rinko. Three attacks. All missed. Just to make sure. It's three base. Uh, goes up to five and six because of token and stats. Goes up to eight thanks to monster grease. And then it goes up to nine because of minus one accuracy token. So all the attacks missed. It is now our turn. And we uh, get to make this happen again. All right, so I'm going to open with uh, Sugume, who's going to get another minus one movement token. Uh, she will attack in place. I'm just checking my... Yeah, I think I'm just going to attack normally. Uh, so I hit on fives, so 2d10. Uh, one perfect hit and a miss. Uh, she is specialized, I believe. Uh, yeah, she's specialized in bow, so I can reroll the other attack if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to, though. I'm just going to take the one hit. So again, king step ignores the battle pressures. Then top guard. Okay, regal breastplate. Um, all right, pretty standard. One d ten plus three for the bow, um, and then Sugume has two, sh uh, three strength, so it's one d ten plus six. Uh, not really a high chance of doing a wound, but it at least got rid of the king, uh, the uh, pressures. So one d ten plus six. Thirteen, just short. Take care of those. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and use one of her survival points to shout up um, uh, Shikiaki. All right, and that is it for her. Um, it's then going to go ahead and turn to face the attacker and then take two steps away. One, two. All right, so that takes care of that. Which unfortunately puts her out of range of Yuka, which kind of sucks. Because of the extra movement, it's going to be a problem. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the top card. Uh, top three cards using uh, Shikiaki. Shikiaki will get a minus one movement. Alright, so top three. One, two, and three. Ah, oh, there's the draft card. All right, so there's impervious and then the trap guard. So we'll put the uh, we'll put the vehicle vamp races on top, I guess, and go from there. Um, then she's going to go ahead and move. What's her strength? Three. So she has eight, I think. One, two. All right. So we'll go ahead and make our attacks. Uh, I have two attacks. I don't think she has plus speed. She doesn't. So 1d10. Uh, 1d10 hitting on fours is Butcher Cleaver. All right. Roll 2d10. Both missed. Good times. And that was a surge, by the way. I forgot about that. Oops. I've already taken the other action. Um... And then I guess I'll go ahead and just uh, dash away while I still can. She can only move three, or sorry, she can act, uh, she can move four because she has additional movement. So one, two, three, four. All right, and then it goes to uh, uh, Ringo, who's going to get a minus one movement. This thing's the silent hand it sucks. I, I hate this thing so much. Right. Alright. So we'll go ahead and one, two, three. Make our attacks with Ringo. Uh two attacks, no accuracy bonuses, unfortunately. Uh she has a skull cop hammer, so that means she hits on sevens. Good luck. One hit. Guard would be Regal Van Braces. Um, and then it would be uh, three strength, uh, eight strength in total. And 
And then it says double your wound attempt total on the first hit select. Oh, it's only on perfect hits, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so 1d10 plus 8. Okay, that's a wound. Progress. All right. Um, this will also get her uh, club proficiency up. All right. Um, and then uh, that does trigger the reaction, which is going to turn and do this, essentially. One, two. Okay, takes care of that. And then uh, she doesn't have king step, so she can't follow. Um, then it's going to be Yuka, who's going to get a minus movement token. I'm going to go ahead and roll to see if I keep the point for the dash, because I have to dash in order to reach. I do keep the point. And then I go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to attack first. Doesn't really matter too much. So 2d10, hitting on like threes or something. Uh, two hits, that's enough to do the... Yeah, it's going to hit the trap card. Uh, anyone that's within two spaces, uh, which is only Yuka, um, will take damage equal to the uh, the wound stack. Um, she has a shield though, so she anyone with a shield can elect to ignore the trap. Uh, and then return any battle pressures to the top of the deck. Blah 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 blah. All right. Again, I shuffled the board that I should have, but that's okay. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and surge. 1d10. I do keep the point, thanks to the uh, uh, rawhide set. So two attacks again. Uh, only one hit this time. So we'll go ahead and get rid of the, the battle pressures again. And then first card. Uh, Regal Vambrises, not a big deal. All right. Uh, I am in the blind spot. So I do get the toughness is only 11 now. And again, Yuka has five strength. Uh, and a bunch of other nonsense. Uh, one other effect for a uh, king step is I could replace one card and draw another one, but I am not going to do that right now. So roll one d or one d ten plus eight. That is a wound, and then he's going to turn around and move up and all that nonsense. And do this. Boop, boop. Okay, and that is it. Um, I could. Uh, I can't really follow up with anything at this point. I can't do any surges or anything like that. So it's going to be a start of a new round. Battle pressures will go back on top. Uh, it's going to do basic action first. And of course, monster controller this time is going to be Ringo. Ringo will be targeted, so she's going to get plus one insanity because she is the monster controller. And yeah, let's go ahead and go through this. So uh, yeah, Survivor in the blind spot, which is Ringo in this case. And it's going to turn around and do this, essentially. Um, just like before, it's going to do a bunch of attacks. So. Three, uh, it's supposed to be speed 4 because it's level 2, but it's speed 3 because of the token. Um, and then still accuracy, it only hits on 9s. So 3d10. Uh, 1 hits. I am going to go ahead and uh, spend a dodge for that because I don't want to get hit and I don't want to get knocked down. So uh, she does have extra sense so she can dodge again if necessary. So we'll go ahead and spend the survival to dodge. And then we draw the, first, uh, the AI card. Uh, perfect thrust. Okay, let's take a look at the positions. <laughs> oh my god, we're so close. All right. Um, the king's the kingsman grabs the hilt of his sea sword. All survivors are doomed. Pick a target in the perfect position. Um, so that position was here. Here and here. So just barely. Two of them were a space off. Um, pick a target in the perfect position. They would have suffered three severe injuries into a random hit location. Um, and if there are no targets in the perfect position, nothing happens. So we're, we're safe. We're safe for now. Um, all right, it is now our turn. Uh, what? How far away are you? 
seven. That sucks. All right. So again, we're gonna go ahead and start things off with Sugume. Um, really, she's just there to kind of remove the kinks, the, the, the pressures as best as possible. So um, just seeing if there's anything else I can do with her. There isn't. So I'm gonna spend the survival because I'm going to be dashing. So I dash first. She has two movement now, or sorry, three movement, because she has, nope, yeah, two movement. Um, and she's going to go one, two, and then she's going to spend her move and her action to shoot. So 2d10, hitting on uh, fives, it looks like. So 2d10, hitting on fives. Uh, one hit, which is all I wanted. So battle pressure, battle pressure, battle pressure, and then top card. Regal back. All right. Nothing special here. Um, it does have a wound reaction, but I'm not too concerned about it. So, uh, toughness 15. I have, what, strength 6, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, I have strength 6, I think. Yeah. So, have fun with that. So, 1d10 plus 6. I, I don't expect to do anything here. Nope. Failed a wound. That's fine. All right. Uh, Shikiaki will go ahead and... Um, She'll burn a hero point to uh, to uh, surge and activate the um, necklace or the circlet and look at the top three cards. Okay, so regal plume we don't want to mess with, and everything else is uh, not a big deal. Okay, that's cool. All right, uh, with all that in mind, then I'm going to uh, go ahead and have her take her action. Then she has three movement. Because um, she did start with six. She'll go one, two, three, and she'll attack. Um, so hitting on fours now. Sorry, threes, because blind spot. So 2d10. Only one hit. That's fine. Top card. All right. If we wound this, we'll get plus one survival, and he'll become staggered until next turn. So 1d10 plus five for the weapon. And then... Uh, Shikiaki has three strength, so that's going to be eight. Uh, it is in the the um, it is in the blind spot, so the weak spot does trigger. Um, and for axe specialization, I can attempt. I can ignore the uh, if it fails. I can ignore it and attempt to wound the selected location again, which is what I'm going to do. So one d ten plus eight. 11. That's what I needed. <laughs> so there you go. That is a wound. All right. We've done five wounds. Still got 11 more to go. All right. Uh, with that said and done, um, that is it for Shikiaki, unfortunately. Um, it does have minus uh, two toughness. So I'll mark that with uh, a green dot just to show. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and have Ringo to go next. She'll get, uh, she'll get another move, minus movement token. That's fine. So she'll move up and attack. Actually, do I want her to move up yet? No, I don't actually. So you know what? Not yet. Yuka, do your thing. Two attacks. Uh, Yuka does get minus one speed. Boop. All right, so two attacks, just like before. Uh, two hits. All right. So impervious and then gauntlet. Uh, I'm going to roll first and then see what I get. Uh, three strength for the weapon, five strength because of this. So 1d10 plus eight. I am in the weak spot and it's at minus two toughness. So I, only, I wound on nines. All right. That's a crit. Uh, I'm going to have that apply to the Grigal gauntlets because I do not want to crit the plume. <laughs> so, uh, oh. Also, the attacker got plus one survival from that previous one. So she goes up to five. Yuka's still at eight. Um, and then until next monster's turn. So we did wound. And then we roll the other location, one to ten plus that. All right. Doesn't matter. It's impervious. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and surge with Yuka. I'll roll to keep, see if I keep the point. I do not. So she goes down to seven. She was already maxed out, so that's why she didn't gain an additional point. All right. And then she'll make two more attacks. 
two hits. First strike and regal collar. Okay, so I have to pick the first, I have to pick the spear first. Um, that does kind of it is first strike is pretty much a hard counter to the specialization, unfortunately. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot the um, plus one speed uh, from Yuka. I forgot it in the previous attacks too as well. Um, with the trap card, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna roll one d10 uh, from the previous attack. Okay, that would have hit, so it would have been this. So we'll resolve the other attack first. Uh, we'll, the nine and eight we'll deal we'll deal with in a second. So one d10 plus eight. Uh, Yuka does not have any heavy gear, so she doesn't get knocked down or anything like that. All right, 12 is definitely a wound in the weak spot. Like right now, she's down. it's down to 7 toughness in the weak spot. So good on that front. And then this is going to put the battle pressures back on top. All right, and then for the next attack that I'm surged for, it's going to be 9 and 8. And then one more attack. Okay, so two attacks, or two hits. I'm gonna, I'll take care of the battle pressures that got put back on top. And then these two two hearts. And there's the trap guard. <laughs> All right. So that happened. Uh, so it's going to be everyone within two spaces. Um, I'm going to take a lot of damage. Because right now he has uh, seven in his wound stack. Uh, I'm going to dash with both. Is it all attackers? No, just the attacker. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and dash with the non-attackers. <laughs> I think that's my best bet. Uh, Shikiaki did not dash. I'm fairly certain she didn't dash. Yeah, she didn't dash. Ringo definitely didn't dash. So She'll go here, and I'll put her two spaces away. And then Shikiaki will move here, which will put her uh, two spaces away. And then I'll have Yuka elect to not... Uh, take the trap card because she has a shield, and that should take care of all of that. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, all I got left is Ringo. She hasn't actually taken an action yet. Also, I need to put a second dot on that. All right, so, um, so yeah, that happened. Oh, actually, I'm gonna move one additional space she had three movement all right um that is it for that unfortunately um i'm trying to think here actually i'm gonna check something real quick so i'll be right back okay i confirmed shikiaki did not dash and i and ringo hadn't even taken an action yet so all right with all that said and done um i'm gonna go ahead and have ringo attempt to attack it's not gonna get through the battle pressures but it might potentially she might potentially learn it so 2d10 uh, both missed, I believe. Yeah, she has minus accuracy thanks to the freaking nickname nonsense. Also, minus movement. All right. Goes to a uh, new round. Battle pressures are already on top, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, all right. Sugume's monster controller. We'll start with... Um, Start with basic action. Again, three attacks, accuracy three. All right, so Yuka has uh, two evasion, so that brings up to five, and then it goes up to six thanks to the um, rawhide vest. And then it goes up to seven thanks to the minus one accuracy. So that happened. Uh, so it's gonna hit two locations. Uh, I'm just gonna, I might dodge both. We'll see in a second. Yeah, that's going to be both the legs, which will do essentially eight damage to the legs. So I'm going to dodge both because she has uh, extra sense. So uh, 2d10 to see if I keep the points. I keep both. So dodge both attacks. Good to go. Uh, no more off balance. All right. And then AI card. Clang. All right, the Kingsman bangs its lantern helper rhythmically against the ground. Intimidate all survivors. All non-death survivors suffer three brain damage. If the settlement innovated Song of the Brave, they suffer one brain damage instead. 
So we have Song of the Brave. Full move the Kingsmen uh, away from the most survivors, turn the face of the nearest survivor, place any discarded battle pressures back on top of the hit location deck. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. I guess it'll be that, as far as moving away from uh, the survivors. Um, it's going to do one uh, one brain damage to everyone, because I have Song of the Brave. So, one, 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 and ha ha ha, one. Alright, so that is it. So that's good news. Uh, Clang actually won't do much to us. Uh, we still have six AI cards in the deck. We know three of them. Well, so there's a total of nine. We know three of them. And three of them are pretty non-threatening. Well, as long as we're not off position. Um, it is now our turn. So I'm going to go ahead and have Sugume. Uh, she does get another token. Because of course she does. And she'll make her two attacks. Hitting on fives. One hit. That's all I need to get rid of the battle pressures. With King, uh, with King Step. Alright. Uh, Regal gut, uh, gut Plate. If I crit, it'll knock him down. It's probably not going to crit. Uh, 1d10 plus 6, I believe it is. Uh, that's a failed wound, not surprised. Uh, it's going to... Uh, it will turn this way, actually. And go 1, 2. Alright. Takes care of that. Um, I'll go ahead and have Shikiyaki. Uh She is not going to be able to reach. So I'm going to go... One, two, and stand on top of it. And then I'll go ahead and look at the top three hit locations. Ah, that plume. I hate that plume so much. All right, so it'll be that, that, and that. Okay. Let's get that border fixed. There we go. All right. So what's it take to get rid of this? Spin all survival? <laughs> God. All right. So at this point, I'm going to be in trouble because I can't reach my target to begin with. Uh, I want to go ahead and have Ringo go next. She has to dash to even reach. Unless I want to... Um, uh, unless I want to burn the, the brain mint, which I'm not ready to do yet. Actually, uh, let's look at those hit locations again. I'm just okay. There's I'm no no fancy crit spots yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So, two d ten. She hits on at least sevens. Um, she doesn't have any plus accuracy, but she is in the blind spot, so she definitely hits with both. Which means we get to deal with both of these now. All right. Um, I'll go for the gauntlet first for obvious reasons. So 1d10 plus 6, I think it is for her. No, plus 8. And she is in the blind spot. 1d10 plus 8. 13. Uh, it is in the weak spot, so it is it, that is a wound. Alright, uh, she does get plus 1 survival as well, and it, gets, it becomes staggered. So plus 1 survival back. Alright. And then we'll roll for the other location in a second. So I'm just going to reapply that. All right. 1d10 plus 8. That's a wound. Okay. Four cards left. All right. So we got that going for us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have Shikiyaki Surge. And look at the top three again. One, two, three. So unfortunately, this fellow is going to move... So, um, yeah, unfortunately, nothing too special here. I'm going to put the plume here. I'll put the breastplate and greaves there. All right. So I can try to go for the wound with, um, with Yuka here. She has nine strength in total, um, which means she would wound on fours if, when not attacking the blind spot. 
That's an option, but I don't think it's a good one. I mean, the other option is I take a brain trauma, which uh, will potentially kill her, and she doesn't have a reroll. So, yeah. I think I'm going to have to go for it. So, start of her turn, she's going to get a movement thingy. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of them in exchange for... Um, at the cost of all my all my uh, survival. Yeah, so I'll do that. Um, so she's going to go down to zero survival. Reset tokens. So she has full movement now. She'll go one, two, three, four, five. And she'll uh, deal with this. So, 3d10, I remember this time. Um, I have plus accuracy and all that nonsense, so... I mean, it's base 5 with the sword, so I hit 3 times. And then 1, 2, 3. Alright, so I roll the location first. Or, sorry, I roll the damage, uh, the, the, the wound attempt first, and then go from there. It's 1d10 plus 9, because I have mastery. Alright, first is a wound, I'll pick uh, Greaves. And it says turn to face the attacker and then move directly away. Um, so doesn't really do anything. Because she he's backed into a wall. And then next attack, I will pick the uh, the breastplate. Uh, 11, unfortunately, is a fail to wound, I think. Yeah, it is. And then last one is thankfully not a crit. Almost, though. So impervious. All that's done. All right. So, it's got six six AI cards left. I'm trying to just whittle down as much as I can, but it's uh, it's a bit rough. All right, I think that should be everything. Yeah, you're at four. You're at four. You're at four. Okay. Uh, goes to. Uh, Monster's turn. Monster controller is now Shikiaki. All right. It's going to uh, go after closest threat, which is Yuka. It does always try to move uh, one step away, so it's going to go like this essentially, and then it's going to make its attack. So three d ten. I have no survival, so this is going to hurt. Uh, two hits. In fact, it's the exact same roll as before. So 2d6. Oh, really? <laughs> same location twice. <laughs> All right. So that's going to do uh, 8 damage to the ch body, uh, which is going to knock her down. She can't dodge because she has no survival. Um, and what direction does this go? It goes down. All right. It's going to knock her down. Send her this way. It's going to burn the Dridacanthus, thankfully. And then AI card. Top card. A uh, familiar face. All survivors are... Uh, the king's men removes its helm, revealing the face of a loved one. All survivors are doomed. Each, every survivor suffers five brain damage. Down to one. Down to zero. Takes one. And then... Ha 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 Good luck trying to get through all that of Shikiaki. So we definitely need to get rid of that um, that legendary card. But at least it's been out; it's now out of the way. Um, also, battle pressures do your thing. Okay, and it's now our turn. Okay, uh, we are in a lot of pain. There's no question about that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with. Um, Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Ringo uh, to shout up Yuka. And she's going to get a plus one speed token because of leader. And we'll go from there. So now I have four attacks. She's back on her feet. I'm going to go ahead and make the attack now because I need to. Also, she does get her minus one movement again since that timer is back going again. So 40-10. Uh, she does hit on, like, 
fours, threes actually. So three hits. We'll go ahead and go through the battle pressures. And then one, two, three, four. Yep, that's what I was figuring. All right, so we got all that. Uh, so only if the person that's in range is her, so it's not going to do anything because she has a shield. So we'll go ahead and just put all this back. So I'm glad I burned through that. All right, and then I'll move her. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, Sugume does have, uh, she will have to do something. <laughs> uh, she does not have a reroll. I could take the trauma. I don't know. That's, uh, that's super risky. I'm going to be taking traumas anyway in a second. So I don't know. Let's go for it. So. I mean, if she frenzies, she wouldn't be able to do it anyway. So you know what? Yeah, I'll I'll spend the points. So we'll reset her points back down to zero, and I'll take care of all of that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that takes care of all of that. Um, and then she will uh, go ahead and uh, that speed token will wear off. She'll go ahead and take her shot. Uh, she'll actually do it from the blind spot. Because she's dumb. So 2d10 hits on fours now. One hit. Okay. Uh, I am in the blind spot, so she might have a chance to wound. Uh, 1d10 plus uh, 6, I believe it is. Yep, 6. So 1d10 plus 6. Uh, 11, that is exactly enough for a wound, uh, thanks to weak spot. So, top card. And now it's uh, she gets a survival back, actually. So she's actually back to one survival, good for her. Um, also, I think I had to do that before I got the token, so I'll, I'll put her token there. She still had four movement, which was enough to reach. Um, and then... Minus, uh, minus two toughness right there. So we got that going. Uh, Yuka has moved away. She can't do anything else. Um, let's go ahead and... There's no point in looking at the top three cards. There's nothing I can really snipe anymore. Not until Yuka's turn. So... We'll go for sh we'll go for Shiki we'll, we'll go we'll go in with Shikiaki first one two three four I have to um I have to dash the reach no I can't even reach yeah I can't reach because the, I'll, I'll get the the negative penalty first so what I'll do with her actually is uh you know what I will go with Ringo first. Uh, and I'll spend all of her survival. So reset tokens. She still has the plus one evasion. One, two, three. And she'll go ahead and make her uh, two attacks. I think both missed. Yep, they both missed. Okay. And then for Shikiyaki, I think I'll go ahead and do the same. I buy survival. We set tokens. One, two, three, four, five. And make two attacks. Two hits. I have to first strike the regal knees. Um, but she doesn't have heavy. Nope, none of her stuff is heavy. All right, so I have to do Regal Knees first. So 1d10 plus 5, uh, total of plus 8. 16, that is definitely a wound. Top card. So now we know exactly what they have left. It's four cards. Um, battle pressures do go back on top. Not much we can do about that. Okay. And then uh, Regal Collar. 
Uh, 13 is enough because of the minus 2 toughness from the previous hit. So we get to shuffle this and then top card. Pretty sure the next one is, I'm pretty sure that's the legendary card right there. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Um, no one else can really take any actions. I can't surge. And in her case, she could have actually kept, uh, she took the token and still didn't suffer anything. So she's good to go on that. Uh, Ringo had to take the token after the fact, so that's that, that's that, that's that. Okay, so all of that's fixed. Okay, dokie. Uh, goes to Monster's turn. Uh, we're almost there, but uh, there's a trap card lingering, lurking, r waiting to kill me. So first things first, it's going to do um, King's, it's going to do a basic action. It's going to go after uh, Sagume, unfortunately. A step back and then one two three four five and you get knocked down and i can't surge because no one has survival now well except for sugume and i can't really do anything with sugume because cat gut bow requires movement and attack because <laughs> it's cumbersome oh there's i i mean i could surge and block that's an option or i can attack with the shield which is also an option. That would be kind of interesting. I mean, she's not going to be able to dodge anything. So if I surge now and I attack with the shield, I would hit on fours. And potentially wound on sixes. Yeah, I think that'll be the case. Uh, well, in any case, it's going to hit. So let's go in order here. So it has to pick a target, and then, and then it will do the flow first. So this is what we'll do. So before it takes its fancy action, I'll go ahead and surge with Sugume and make an attack. So, 1d10. Uh, I am in the blind spot. Uh, the uh, beacon shield has six, ac six accuracy, so that brings it down to five, and then down to three because of plus two accuracy. So, 1d10. Okay, that's a hit. Battle pressures, battle pressure, top card. All right, and then I can go for this. Uh, 1d10 plus 5 plus 3, so 8 in total. 1d10 plus 8. Uh, I was just... Oh, wait, I'm in the blind spot. Uh, so that does a wound. So top card goes there. Uh, then it's going to step away. It has picked the target already, so that's not going to change. So I'm going to do this and go 1, 2. And I'll send you flying. One, two, three, four, five. Knock you both down. And that would be Ringo's evasion token gone. All right. And then, then I'll do the the rest of the of the card here because they already picked a target. Uh, fortunately, there's not much I can do about Shikiaki. She's just going to get wrecked a bit. Uh, starting from in order by the indicated arrows. So it'll be right to left based off it. So it'll actually go for Sugume first. So three attacks. Oh my, I've gotten this exact same roll every time it's attacked. Um, so all of it hits, no questions asked. Um, so it's going to do four damage to the body, legs, and arms. She has two evasion. Yeah, it hits on fives. Or sorry, sixes. So yeah, it just barely hits. But yeah, that's kind of ridiculous how often that happened. Um, and then it's going to send, what's the knockback? Five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And you're already knocked down, so it's not a big deal. And then for uh, Shikiaki here. Oh, good. A different roll. Slightly different. 
All right, so uh, Shikiaki has one evasion. So the only thing that misses is the nat one. So roll, do d6. Uh, arms and legs, four damage each. Uh, it does bash, but she is, um, uh, Shikiaki is immune to bash because of the leather set. So four damage to the arms. And legs. And then she goes flying. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then it draws an AI card. Hook and pull. Furthest threat in field of view and range. Uh, furthest threat is Shikiaki. One, two, three, four, five. So here we go again. Three attacks. Uh, hitting on fours, I think. I don't think, or sorry, fives because of minus accuracy. Uh, one missed. So two hits. Uh, arms and head. And this will knock her down. All right, she can't dodge, unfortunately. Um, and then and I am going to suffer severe injury, which is going to get burned by the Dryadacanthus. And then. And then uh, move the monster two uh, back two spaces without turning. So target suffers grab um, and puts it in front of the monster. So one, two, put you there. And then I have to roll hit location again to take two additional damage. Uh, that is legs, which thankfully does not kill her. All right. And that is that. Uh, it is now our turn. Uh, battle pressures are... Uh, Gotta look that up again. I, I believe it's at the start of the turn. So we might be okay. Uh, unfortunately, we have no way of getting people back on their feet. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, King's Combat. No, that's not the one. Uh, King's Aura. Yeah, start of the monster turn. So we've already taken care of it then. All right, so it's our turn. Uh, we do know one of the cards is Hook and Pull. We don't know what the other one is. Um, I don't know what the top cards are. Um, Yuka is the only one that can take an action, so she'll go here. And she can only move to here, essentially, and make her two or three attacks. So 3d10, uh, three hits, it looks like. One, two, three. No trap. All right, so I get to pick the location first. Uh, or sorry, I get the roll and then pick the location. Uh, 1d10 plus 9. Uh, that is a crit. So I'll apply that to the regal sheath, which will cancel out the reflex. And this will be a persistent injury. So now the only card that we know we have to worry about is hook and pull. All right. Um, and then I, I'll go for regal sabatons next. That's a wound, not a crit, though. So now all that's left is the um, the base hit. Also, it's now uh, minus two toughness. Minus two toughness, unfortunately, puts it just at 13 toughness, which is, unfortunately, I failed a wound. We were close. We were so close. It's going to go there. All right. We were so close. Oh, that sucks so much. We were so close to getting the kill. Um, it's going to get it. It's going to do basic action twice, essentially, now. Um, and it's going to go for closest threat, which is just Yuka. Um, so this is not going to be great. So it's going to step forward and make its attacks. Um, Monster Controller is now Ringo. And all we can do now is pray. Uh, there is no way we're going to survive this. So three attacks hitting on uh, four because of minus one accuracy, five, six, sevens. It's on sevens. And with how I've been rolling its attacks, I doubt this is going to go well. Yeah, look at that. Three hits. <laughs> all right. So that's all body and a head. 
So um, there and body. So I have to I have to roll severe injury. Good luck, everyone. Uh, I don't think you have toughness or tough. You do not have tough. One d ten. Ten. Thank you. <laughs> so this was to the chest. So um, I believe it's the same in the in the in one point five, but I'll pull it up on my book first. I mean, usually ten is going to be just a knockdown anyway. At at worst, it'll be a knockdown. Here we are. Severe injuries, chest, body. Uh, bowed over. You the the blow sends you sprawling, and you are knocked down. So knocked down. And then it, uh, that's it for that. So just checking a few things. I'm doing math in my head. Yeah, hits on seven, so all the hits. Um, and then it's going to do basic action again because it has no cards left. And there are no threats. Everyone's currently down, so it's going to get guard. So it's going to get plus five uh, toughness until start of turn. Also, battle pressures get put back on top. I'll put up a little shield icon to show that it's been all nice and shielded, and go from there. So um, everyone but Yuko will be back on their feet. Also, I forgot the other characters' actions, quote unquote. Um, technically, they should have gotten a minus movement. Like so. Also, one thing I could have done is I could have chewed the, the mint. I should have chewed the mint first before burning everything else, but that's okay. It does take an action to do. Um, that would have been probably useful. All right. But that's okay. I mean, it's not okay. I should have done it, but not much I can do about it. All right. Uh, so we'll start with... Um, Sugume first. Sugume will, of course, get a minus movement. Uh, she'll take her shot in place. Uh, Shikiaki may die, but I need to get those battle pressures gone. Or, you know, I miss all, all my attacks. Uh, she is specialized in bow. She is specialized in bow. Which means she can reroll attacks. So she will reroll any misses once. So she'll go ahead and reroll both. Uh, hits once. That's really all I can ask for. Battle, pr uh, battle pressure, battle pressure, and top card, Regal Greaves. I have to. It is in. It is impossible for me to actually wound this. <laughs> it is impossible. I actually cannot do it. Um. So. Uh, yeah. There's no way she doesn't have enough. She doesn't have high enough strength. I mean, unless I had moved. Uh, I should have moved an attack, and I, even then. Yeah, I. you need at least plus 10 strength to actually wound this guy right now. So I probably should have just passed turn. That probably would have been smarter. Oh well, I've already rolled the attack, so I'm not going to uh, change anything. One, two. All right. Uh, he, she can't move. That's fine. Uh, Shikiaki can't block. Uh, how are you doing, Ringo? Okay, you kind of got some stuff going. Got some stuff going. Uh, so Ringo, take a minus movement. And go boop, boop. Actually, we'll put you right there. And then uh, Shikiaki will go ahead and go here. Uh, Shikiaki will have a minus token, of course. And I'm actually going to look at the top hit locations. One, two, three. All right. Okay, this is doable. This is doable. Yuka just needs to survive a round. She has her founding stone. She has king step. This will end the fight. We'll do this. I 
Also, I've been kind of forgetting about the heavy gear stuff. Um, I don't think anyone's... Uh, the only people that have heavy gear... is Sugume. So she's the only one that could potentially get hit by that. So hopefully... If I missed that, by, by all means, point it out in the comments. I'm not going to rewind, but if I did miss it, let me know. Uh, I think all the times I've hit these things, it's been with people who have do not have heavy gear. I'm fairly certain. Because the only person that has heavy any heavy gear at all is Tsugume with the, the, uh, with the lantern set and the beacon shield. The problem is, is if I get a hit in, it's going to curse Yuka. But Yuka is going to be retiring soon anyway, so... It doesn't really matter for her. So I'm actually kind of okay with that. I would like to get the wound with somebody else, but it is what it is. You know what, actually? We'll do it in a... Put this on the... As long as I hit... Dude, I'm kind of trying to figure this out in my head. I think this is fine. This will work. All right. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right. Uh, Yuka's knocked down. Uh, Yuka will get one more token. And that should be it for everybody. And I'm not going to attack with Ringo because that's not going to not going to do anything. All right, so it's going to go. Uh, Monster Controller is going to shift over to Sugume, and it's going to do basic action. Uh, the. Uh, and the uh, toughness at the start of the monster's next turn. So yeah, the tough, the plus five toughness is now gone. It's going to go uh, closest threat, which is Ringo. Three attacks. All missed. That is definitely a miss. I mean, it's base three, four because of token, and then she's got monster grease and all that stuff. And then she's going. It's going to do it again. Uh, one hit. Yes, that is one hit. Uh, because. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a, it's a nat 10. I'm just checking to see if there's another hit. Uh, so it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, it's two hits. It uh, hits twice because she no longer has the um, extra evasion. So 2d6, uh, body and waist, it looks like. So four damage to each. And then she's going to go... Uh, to to its left. One, two, three, four, five, and be knocked down. All right. Then it's our turn. We get up. Sugume, are you in range? Yes, you're barely in range. So I'm going to shoot with Sugume first, but the slim chance that she gets the kill. So, slash roll. So that also means I would have to get rid of a lot of stuff. So you know what? I think we're good. We're good on that front. I think I'm just going to go for uh, with Yuka. Uh, Yuka will get minus one movement. She is already on her feet. And she can actually get into the blind spot. So the question is, is do I want to go for this? I know the top three cards are safe. That much I do know. She doesn't have any heavy gear. But I, the guarantee is if I threw a Founding Stone. So, 3d10. <laughs> we'll see what we do. Uh, perfect hit. Okay, that perfect hit will make the um, give us an additional 4, uh, four strength. So we're definitely good to go now. Uh, all three hits. Blah, 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 blah. And blah, and blah. Alright. So Axe Blade, uh, Gut Plate, 
and Regal Vambrises. I have to go for the first strike first. Doesn't really matter. I don't have heavy gear. So, slash, 1d10, uh, plus 3 for the weapon, 5 because of her strength, brings it up to 8, and then it's sharpened, so plus 12. Alright, 19 is a wound, and that's a kill. Uh, she is now going to be cursed. So, King's Curse on Yuka. And we'll go through that process. So, as always, if I made any mistakes, I apologize. There was a lot of stuff to keep track of. I, I think I did it right. Kings, you do basic action first, then draw an AI card. I don't think I ever missed an AI card draw. Uh, Silent him, I kept. I think I kept up with. Um, I did burn the the survival to stay up. Honestly, I should have used the bent at some point, but I completely forgot. Um, that would have probably made it a little bit easier. But then again, Ringo was having a lot of trouble doing wounds, uh, just simply because she's not that strong. Um, I do need to check to see if she actually got a wound off. That's something I need to do. I know I got one off with the cleaver. Um, I did get one with the bow at melee at, at point blank range. I did. De uh, sword doesn't matter. So I will need to look over to see if I actually got a wound with um, Ringo. So I will be right back. All right, can confirm she did. She did get a wound, so got that taken care of. All right. So with all that said and done, let's go ahead and get through all of this. That was dangerous. Um, if that legendary card had come up again, the, the brain traumas would have been pretty devastating. And I had to I had to stay close because obviously if he started running around, I would not be able to catch him because my movement was suffering so much. Um, so yeah, definitely blew all my surges really early just to try to get it. We did hit the trap card a, a multiple times, but thankfully we do have a lot of attacks. Um, I apologize for messing up the sword mastery um, thing. That got kind of a little messy, but... I hope, hopefully did it correctly. It was supposed to be plus one speed, plus one strength, plus one accuracy, which I just completely forgot about. Anyway, uh, so plus one hunt experience for everybody. So let's go do that first. Boop, you already mastered. Boop, and boop. You also get spear uh, proficiency at this point if you wanted it, but we don't. And boop. All right, so that takes care of that. Then it's going to be... Um, Yuka will get King's Curse, and then King's Curse is also going to trigger for uh, Sugume. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll for the other reward first. Uh, it's going to be 1d10 plus the defeated monster's level, so 1d10 plus 2. 11. One Steel Sword Rare Gear, and one Basic Resource. I think we already have a Steel Sword. I'm fairly certain we have a Steel Sword already. Yep, we do. So we do get one Basic Resource, though. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And we got a skull, gives plus one insanity to whoever we want. So uh, we don't really need that for Yuka anymore. Uh, so we'll get uh, plus one for uh, Ringo here. Oops. All right. So I'll take care of that. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so getting the Steel Sword is really good, good find, but we, unfortunately we just have no use for it. Um, also... If the settlement, uh, okay, so there's also something, a note, if we if we defeat a level 3 Kingsman and we have Nightmare Training, uh, we can essentially get uh, King's Step as a secret fighting art, um, but unfortunately we fought a level 2, and I do not ever want to fight a level 3. Alright, so that's all taken care of. Um, okay, so we need to do uh, King's Curse. So King's Curse, I'll roll for uh, Sagume first, so 1d6. Uh, body, I already have body. Uh, head, so Regal Helm. Uh, your skull erupts from inside your head, bone twisting and hardening into a plate exoskeleton, gain a random disorder, and the Regal Helm rare gear, gear and place it in the gear grid now. Okay. So uh, we'll go ahead and grab that uh, card. I'm also going to go ahead and roll for uh, Yuka now. Yuka got Waste, which is 
Your thigh bones expand and hollow while the flesh from your legs packs itself inside the bone. The pain is exquisite. Suffer the destroyed genital severe waist injury. Gain the Regal Falls rare gear and place it in your gear grid now. So, destroy genitals. We'll go ahead and just pull that up real quick. Uh, you cannot be nominated for an intimacy story event. The injury is permanent, can be recorded once, gain a random disorder, you are knocked down. Gazing upwards, you wonder at the futility of the struggle, gain plus three insanity, and a bleed token. I won't worry about the bleed. We'll just do that. Uh, waist. Head. And both of them got disorder, so I'll go ahead and get that taken care of. So... First, I'll do uh, Sagume. Hoarder, whenever you're a returning survivor. Oh, well, that skull is gone. <laughs> so Sagume is going to get plus one courage, thanks to Hoarder. So pretty much like, hey, we find a skull, yoink. And there it goes. All right, shuffle, and then top card. Uh, seizures. Lingering damage from your head injuries has caused you to experience periods of uncontrollable shaking and absence of thought. Well, this was to the genitals, not the head. During the showdown, whenever you suffer damage to your head location, you are knocked down. Doesn't matter, because I am probably never... Yuka is pretty much retired at this point. So, seizures. Oh, and, uh... Destroyed genitals. Oh boy. Alright. Reset tokens. But the good news is, we finished. That was like an hour-long combat, but it's done. Bad news is, we don't really have anyone that has King Step besides uh, Sagume. Uh, I don't know if we will encounter another Kingsman. We will. Year 28, we will encounter a level 3 Kingsman. Uh, so I guess I'll be saving Sagume for that, and probably Yuka as well. But uh, Yuka, Yuka and Sagume were definitely MVPs here. Um, Shikiyaki definitely helped out as well. Uh, we definitely saved a Founding Stone, which is good. Um, we could have used it to get the sure kill, but luckily um, Yuko was plenty strong to do what we needed to do. Uh, we are down to only one Drydacanthus, which is not great, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this. I am the Depressed Eo, and this was Kingdom Death Monster 1.5. See you guys in a bit.